Hi folks, Will McNichol here, and I have a rather special guitar with me today. This is one of the first instruments by Tom Sands that I ever played back in our first recording session together in 2017. And not only is it one of the first guitars of Tom's that I've played, but it's also one of the first that Tom built. This is serial number 004. And of all the guitars that I played on that day, this is the one that seemed to really connect with me for a number of reasons. And it's also probably the catalyst um, for mine and Tom's kind of continued partnership since then. Effectively, I played this guitar and I thought to myself, yeah, Tom and I are gonna get along just fine. <laughs> so it's really lovely to have it back in my hands after a few years and all of the things that were speaking to me back in 2017 are still speaking to me now and particularly the responsiveness of this I, I remarked back when I first tried it that I barely needed to touch the thing and it was making noise it just seemed to be very excited to make music and that for me you know was rather addictive and also the reason why I chose it to do quite a special performance that day of Lighthouse which you may have also seen on Tom's YouTube channel. But just quickly, you know, what do I have here? So this is a, a double O uh, with spruce top and a rather stunning set of koa for the back and sides, 12 fret to the body. And somehow all of these things kind of combine to create an effect that really just worked for me. and. Tom took the essence of some of these things that made up this instrument and kind of channeled them into his design for the Model S, which as some of you may know, I now play quite a lot and Tom very kindly made me Jupiter. And those things that I really responded well to were those really sweet sustaining trebles, that sense of fizzy excitement um, in the instrument due to the fact it was so lightly constructed and the response from small body guitars is something that's always really connected with me and this seemed to really have that in abundance you know i love the bass sound i love the mids i love its punchiness um but it still managed to keep things really lovely and sweet so anyway it's a real pleasure for me to have it back um to do some recordings on so i thought i'd just play a couple of tunes on it have a bit of fun with it now that i've got it back here in my little studio so i hope you enjoy these the first one you'll hear is a tune called Before the Light, followed up by a piece called Arthur's Lullaby, both of which are for my new album. So, here we go. Mm -hmm. 